Love, pray you stay around me forever and never leave me We gon' get together forever, I know you need me It ain't hard to love you, I promise that shit is easy I can see the future so vivid, I think it's 3D Stay the night forever and ever, I think I'm needy Me and my reflection, my mirror, I know you see me See me, need me, easy, hug me, love me, trust me, love me, love me Today is going to be a late night gym sesh for me because I did not have time to go earlier. We're leaving in T minus five. Get your shit ready, go change. We're gonna go hit legs. Jim's waiting. She's knocking at your door. She's asking when you're gonna come. So Gambiete put on a cute gym fit and let's get this shit poppin'. Nothing is more unmotivating than going to the gym when it's so cold outside. Y'all see that? 39. To go in with the brand new Gymshark sweat seamless shorts. Also is some sweat leggings. Another part of the sweat seamless collection, these super cute tanks. Some of my favorite Gymshark leggings. They're seamless, the colorways are so cute, and they just have this very light fleck. I wanna go in with the pop of color, so I'm gonna go in with Paradise Blue. I think I'm also going to put on a headband. Ow. I'm just gonna put on a sweater because it's really cold outside. Fun fact, these K-Swiss sneakers are actually thrifted. not realize there was going to be this many people at the gym at this time there's heads parking lot is semi-packed i always try to be very cautious of when i film because i don't want to make anyone feel uncomfortable i just try to be as respectful as possible when it comes to filming in the gym anyways take our pre-workout i'm taking ehp labs pride and i'm also doing psi blue raz i've been really enjoying putting sparkling water in my pre-workout. I honestly blame energy drinks because energy drinks are nice and fizzy. And I got used to the fizz, so now I just want it in like my pre-workout concoction. Oh, know where to go. Still know where to go. Question, tell me what you think about me. One of my non-negotiables for working out is hitting mobility right before every intense workout, upper body, lower body, doesn't matter. So here are some of my favorite mobility exercises that I like to do right before I work out. And I only take about five-ish minutes to do these, so it doesn't take a long time. Some movements that I like to do, really going deep into a squat, making sure that my feet are flat on the floor, rotating my body side to side, just overall making sure that I have my lower body and hips and ankles all warmed up before my lower body sesh. So obviously everybody's flexibility is a little bit different, so you might need to elevate your heel a little bit, but if you can, try to keep your foot flat on the floor when you're doing these. Also, try to make sure that your upper body is upright and not rounded so try not to round your back too much it's going to be different for everybody just because it all depends on your flexibility don't be afraid to push that knee past those toes hit that depth girl we gotta get nice and warmed up before we do any sort of squat lunge hinge etc and yeah girl let's get to it this movement right here is new to my lower body routine i incorporate this in every other leg day that I do. I love this so much. This is technically a good morning, but on the hack squat machine. And I absolutely love to do these. I can really load the weight and I feel this so much 
in my hammies and in my glutes. So I have been incorporating this over the last month or so in my lower body routine. So I am still trying to kind of get used to my foot placement. So one tip that I suggest is if you want to try this out, try to do this without weight first and try to figure out where you like to place your feet or where you feel it the most and then go on and load on weight anyways girl this makes my hammies and glutes quiver for dear life this is so intense and i love it so much show you guys but i do do a warm-up set first with just one plate on each side and i do anywhere between 10 to 15 reps and then i go into my first working set where i load on three plates on each side do 12 reps total i'll do that again a second time for my second set and then in my third and fourth set that's when i go up to four plates on each side and i try to do anywhere between eight to ten reps I don't want to be confusing so I'll make sure to have all of the information you need on this workout in the description box down below as well as some info on the screen for you here so that way you're picking up what I'm putting down. But yeah girl, if you're looking for a new hip hinge movement to incorporate into your routine, definitely try this one out and give it a go and see how you feel afterwards. Like I said, I've been doing this every other leg day for a month straight and oh my gosh. I feel it so crazy in my glutes and my hammies. After I've completed my four sets there, I move on to do some squats and hear me out, girl hear me out i love to work out for fun so when i do front squats i'm strictly only doing them for fun i don't think front squats are really optimal for growth in general front squats can be very limiting so i personally don't recommend doing them all the time if you're looking for growth or strength etc by the way, that's not to say that there are no bennies to doing front barbell squats. Obviously, they work for some people and that is why it is a thing. But for hypertrophy training, if that is your thing, it's not going to be the most optimal squat variation to do. So maybe just stick to doing back barbell squats if hypertrophy training is your thing. I like to do both. I like to incorporate front barbell squats from time to time to really challenge myself, challenge my core stability and just see what I can do. So I decided to do front barbell squats today instead of back barbell squats. Look, how you get so good at being modest, girl, be honest. You said you done trusting these niggas, made yourself a promise. I hate to make you take it back. I've been getting paid for rap. I'm talking about the drums when I tell you I can make it clap. Had to make you wait for that. You intrigued with conversation. You be moving dolo, I'm intrigued and I'm in admiration. I can gas you up, but I don't think you need the validation. Still you looking good, natural, without no operation. Fuck my old bitches hating. Fuck your old niggas too. Younger me, he wanted street stripes but they wasn't blue now i'm banking on the sweet life when i'm next to you giving you the credit you deserve because it's overdue i have need a spotter but i don't have one so when you really got them digits i'm sad i'm like yes ain't no stress you the best i'm a sad i'm like I did hit a little bit of everything in today's lower body sesh so now we are moving on to barbell hip thrusts I am keeping the weight relatively mellow because I am going to be supersetting my barbell hip thrust 
with some step ups, but we will get to that when that comes. I'm going to be doing about 12 reps to start for my first set. Even when you are doing moderate to light weight, make sure that you are moving with intention. Stabilize your core, pause at the top, move through your reps in a really good flow don't be swinging your body freaking left right up down whatever movement you're doing make sure that you are moving with intention and make sure that you are really doing the mind to muscle connection Okay, but look at this juicy ass leg pump we got going on. Looking juicy. Moving on to the superset part of this superset, we're going to move on to glute bias step ups right after you're done with the barbell hip thrust. And the key to doing these is when you come down, you wanna barely tap the floor come back up and just make sure you constantly keep the tension i make sure that my upper body is leaning a little bit forward and i'm pushing off of the heel and you're really going to feel this in your glute and obviously a little bit in your quad i was holding a 30 pound dumbbell and i did 12 reps on each leg once you're done with both legs you're done with set number one got me obsessed, got me obsessed. You're getting better with the times. Looking on your earth, tasting like some fine wine. X broke your heart, you can hear that through a mind. Nick be calling, but you never mind. As you all mine. Pull up to my house late night. Hit the brake lights in the shade, right? I know what's up on your mind. Pour a couple shots with the Henny in my cup. And a couple moments later, we'll be winning up a twine. Something that's divine. Have to give it time, but I'm patient. I just want to see on your spaceship. Plus, you done the earth and you never on some face. Flitting had the bill, had the women didn't patient. Basic, we should take a time with your pace it. And you want the one, God ain't on no copy patient. Felt so many times, this is different, we can make it. Love dripping good off of you, let me taste it. If step ups aren't really your thing, another movement that I really love to incorporate in my routine that I suggest to you guys is doing deficit reverse lunges. Love, love, love those. They're very similar in a way, but a little bit different. So definitely try those out if doing step ups is not your thing. For my third and last set of barbell hip thrusts in this super set, I decided to do one plate on each side and just try to rep out as many reps as I possibly could. I think I ended up doing about 20 reps total. But honestly, guys, I really should have just kept two plates on each side for my last hip thrust sesh in this super set because like I could have easily just repped out two plates on each side 
instead of just doing one. I think I was just getting really tired and I was like, fuck dude, let me lower the weight. I literally, I don't even know what I was thinking. I really shouldn't have lowered the weight. I think because I knew I was going to try to rep out, I was like, let me lower the weight. But honestly, two plates on each side for me was already low enough. But whatever, you know, you live and you learn. And that is a wrap for this super set. Guys, I used to hate quad leg extension, but now this is like literally I look forward to doing quad leg extensions because I am so determined to grow my freaking quads. So I always end my leg days with quad leg extension. My start weight with this machine is 105 pounds. I rep out about 10 reps and then I make my way down in weight and I continue to go until I quite literally can't no more. And this is how I end almost every leg day that I have. Also, sometimes if I really want to challenge myself, I will go in and superset this with body weight lunges and I'll just kind of lunge along the turf. It's an intense ass superset, but I definitely recommend if you want to just completely murder those quads and those legs. But yeah, girl, I did not do that this time around because I'm going to be honest, I was super scared. It was already 12 p.m. and I was the only one in the gym and I was like, I really should not be here right now. But anyways, that is how I ended this lower body late ass gym sesh. In your closet, but you grab them tight, you in love with being modest. You a more body giving sin of views. I'm just saying, I'm a mule, but you ain't even flexing. And you cool, tatted up, have a wolf, different vibe, you know, and but you ain't even flexing. And you ain't gotta try too hard. Number one thing inside your plot. Let me think about inside the most. Words got deep, it's like a swan. Making me better, you hotter than pepper, mm-hmm, mm-hmm mm. You with a big stepper who chasing a cheddar, mm-hmm, mm-hmm mm. All of these women, they not on your level, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. You like a mix of business and pleasure, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. You a move, body giving scene of views I'm just saying I'm a mule, but you ain't even flexing Then you cool, tatted it up, cover warm, different vibe and you ain't proof But you ain't even flexing But you ain't even flexing but you ain't even flexing. But you ain't even flexing. But you ain't even flexing. So I was gonna do walking lunges, but honestly, I'm really, really, really tired and my legs are giving out. So I think it's time to go home. But. I feel like I got a really good leg pump. Yeah. Better one than that. Yeah. Hey guys. Yeah, I'm so tired. I'm actually so tired. I feel like I had a really, really good workout. I wish I would have ended with lunges, but it's too late to be here. I don't want to be here anymore. So, this was the fit. I'm like, yes, stress, you the best. Look, how you get so good at being modest, girl, be honest. You said you done trusting these niggas. Girl, the one thing about me, I'm a sprint to my car. Let's go. Someone's here. Hi. I was scared. I was like, oh my gosh, someone's in the fucking gym. You just have to be so careful because you never know who's out to get you. Not to be, be like paranoid. You never know. You never fucking know, girl. So anyways, I'm going back home now. I'm gonna end my night with some collagen and some greens with some creatine. Normally I have this early in the day, but I didn't drink it and I really want something refreshing. This is the combination I'm gonna go for. Mm -hmm. One scoop of creatine. Mm -hmm. Two scoops of the aqua collagen. I really like the aqua collagen of the 
greens. Whenever I mix the aqua collagen with the greens, always make sure to mix in the same flavor. Yeah, this is hitting so good right now. Really random, like I said, I don't do this normally. I do not drink my greens this late. It's just what I wanted right now. Anyways, so tired. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the